we're here at Lincoln Financial Field for this afternoon's matchup between the Colts and the Eagles. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. This return completely covered, tackling him inside the 15. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First and 10, McCoy. They tackle him for a loss. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second and 11. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. We're early in this one, but already a crucial third and long play coming up. Uh, these are tough situations. What are you going to do on the offensive side? There's only so much you can do. If I was the defense, I would look for a screen. Third and long. Ball's picked off. Uh, when the defense gets an interception early in the game, oh, man, will that give them confidence, and it just makes them play more aggressive. So this is a good... Very good start for the defense. <laughs> defense now signaling for a timeout. Hilton's a receiver in the slot. First and ten, handoff, running right through the trenches. The defense stands up early and stops the run cold. Good job that time. You said it, Jim, by the defense. They attacked the offensive line, and there was nowhere for the running back to run the football. Be second and nine. Lux got the football after the play fake. Touchdown, Colts. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth and we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them that's how they're able to get open and make so many catches oh he actually misses the point after the defender got caught in the neutral zone right there that'll cost him five yeah he's a little too anxious you know all these defenders they got one thing in common you know what that is they hate quarterbacks <laughs> they want to get there a little too Nervous there, gets him caught in the neutral zone. The Colts getting set for the point after Earth. is good the Eagles are prepared to return to kickoff <laughs> it 
This big return's gonna set up his team in excellent field position. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Now on first down, LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. And LaRon Landry brings him down. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. McCoy is going to take the handoff now. He's going to be tackled right around the 42-yard line. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Well, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense might have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. Cooper's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and four. He'll go to the left. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football, too. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Trying the right side. Power surge for six. Touchdown. Ah, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there, and it's first and goal, and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run. Nice touchdown. Now, and so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Colts are ready to return the kick. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The defense comes out of the dime. And the give to Ahmad Bradshaw. Picks up nine. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. They come out in the dime package. Midway through the first. Patrick Chung makes the hit. It's kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it, to see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense. The Colts will go with the pistol on this play. First down and 10. And he was wide open. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Luck will take the snap from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. The Colts get a first down. Colts are in for the score. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Lining up now for the two. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The onside kick is 
turned away, and the receiving team has it. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First and ten. Fix looking long. He caught it. What a play by the wide receiver. Catching that long pass and getting so close to the goal line. But nice tackle by the defense before he got in. They've got a first down now after that catch. Break spree. A tackle behind the line. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. And now they'll try over again on second down. McCoy has got it on the handoff. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Good piece of tackle. Well, defenses love it when they get you inside the five-yard line because it's hard to deceive them. So they can just go after the offense and be aggressive. It's now fourth and goal. And he's in for the touchdown. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them, and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. The Eagles lined up now for the point after. Inside of the upright. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. The Colts in the pistol. First and ten. Throws to the right. The Colts now move the chains. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. Setting up in the pistol on this play. They'll go shotgun here. Working that left side. Sticks to his hands. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Bypass the point after and try to pick up the two point conversion. Got the touchdown, got the two point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you know what? Now I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Eagle, Eagle. 
They come to the line, and it's first down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows that speed to get the long game. Looking for an open receiver on the right. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play-action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. They feed the running back. Bumble. And the defense has it. And that tackle made by Leron Landry. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. Andrew Luck under center. Now first and ten. And gains maybe four. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. LaShawn McCoy's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. And he's brought to the ground. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. Now third and four following the run. Going across the middle. Complete. This is probably the worst defense in the NFL when it comes to pass coverage. Four defensive backs all playing deep. Afraid to give up the big pass. That's great. You don't give up the big pass, but you give up an awful lot of short ones, especially in cuts going across the field. move from the tight end position to the slot. Luck's got it in the gun. Luck connects with Hilton. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Hilton's in the slot. Just a quick drop back. Looks to his left. The Colts get a first down. And they tackle him there at the 34. Good decision that time by the quarterback. He saw it was cover four. He knows he can't go deep, so he took the wide open receiver underneath. First down, following the long play. Lux play action. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Great job by the receiver that time, holding on to the football after the catch. What a hit by the defense. In this league, you better be able to catch it and take the big hit. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Bradshaw lined up in the backfield. Second and one, challenging the defenders to the right side, spins out of the defenders' clutches. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Well, that's the new NFL. 
Just keep throwing it behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time, a loss of a couple yards. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. First and ten, trying to work that left side. Almost intercepted that time. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Second down and ten. Play action fake. Looking to throw. They pounce on him there. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. This long drive continues. and go. Ahmad Bradshaw with the carry. Short run and it's a touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run but a great job by the O-line. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. Met head on right there at the 20. First down coming up. The give. Trying to find an opening to the right. He's into the open. Well, when you're on the defensive side, if you read the offensive formation, where do they have the most numbers at? And that's usually where they're going to run the football. That time the offense goes to the strong side, gets outside. You should have an extra defender there waiting for him. Terrible job by the defense. Cooper's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Running it like it's an option play. Got a little crease. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also... It opens up so many other things for your offense. McCoy's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Fix back in shotgun formation. Inhales the pass. And the flag is down. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally you're going to grab the face mask. First and ten. Not a wise throw there. Get the double coverage. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. Cooper's lined up in the slot. Double, double, double. 
Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Looking for a receiver. Laron Landry with an interception. Tackles made. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Cleaners playing out of position in the backfield here. First and ten. A takeaway. Bringing the play to an end. Most football linebackers, their quarter line good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. This will probably be the last play of the first half. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Advancing it now inside the 40. McCoy's a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. It's a second and 13. Running to the right. Here's the quick toss. So that's going to do it for this first half. We'll be back with our halftime report after the break. We're back here now in this one, where the Colts are leading by 12. Let's go back to the sidelines. Danielle Bellini has the latest. Guys, I got a chance to quickly speak with Coach Pagano during halftime. Jim, with the lead here at the half, he was feeling good about how things had gone to this point. He said, I think we're doing a good job repeating what we did in practice. We've come out and we're confident in what we're doing, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now they've just got to do it for another half, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Andrew Luck under center. First and ten. Bradshaw. Middle. Good for three. Coming up, second down. Looking to the right side and throwing. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts him in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Third down now. <laughs> Setting up a little screen. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Bradshaw's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. And they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. Oh, 
it's a dime look for the defense on this play. First and ten. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. He's tackled at the 30. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time, stopping the outside run for a little game. Cooper's a receiver in the slot. They better hurry to get the snap. Vic in shotgun formation. He'll fire it out to the left. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury. And uh, it's just it's a tough sport. A lot of big hits. And uh, I hope he's going to be OK. Offense lines up here. It'll be a third and ten. Uh, three and out. That's just a bad job by the quarterback that time. Bad decision. He keeps the football, doesn't fool the defense, and he gets taken to the ground. He loses yards. Gun, gun, gun. Dick's going to take it from the gun. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Running back gets it on the handoff. The flag is out as the play continues. Push it Face mask. Defense. That's a face mask call. And, of course, from now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. First and goal. And he's thrown to the ground. You talk about a blitz on the defensive side. It's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB. Second down and a long way to go. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield, and he's taken down. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Offense lines up here. This is it. Fourth and goal to go. Interception. They've got him down there. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position. And they made the interception. Pistol formation. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Ahmad Bradshaw. The Colts come out in the pistol. The defense gets a sack. Well, that's a good job by the defense that time getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Third and 17. Throws the pass. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Pat McAfee now ready to punt. He 
thinks twice about returning this one and signals fair catch. Michael Vick will be under center. First and ten. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. And it's incomplete. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time. And they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. On second and ten. Throws to the right. Tucks it under, now throws, and it's incomplete. You know, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. Split backfield here. So now a third and ten, eyeing that left side. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. That reception gave them the first down. First down, throwing again, looking for an open receiver on the right. Shakes off the hit. He's brought down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. First down here after the completion. He'll fire it out to the left. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Second and ten. Intercepted. Nice tackle. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Nice run that time by the running back. And if they keep running the football like this, it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense. They are being physical. The running back doing a good job, and they are making it happen in the running game today. Hilton's going to get set in the slot for this snap. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Forgot to catch the football. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. Bradshaw lined up in the backfield. Second attempt. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver so it's easy for him to make the catch, and he can protect himself also. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Challenging the defenders to the right side. You're near midfield. You're scored down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Andrew Luck under center. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. Offense lines up here. First down and ten. McCoy 
running to his right. McCoy is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Second down and seven. Trying to make something happen. He's got some daylight. McCoy's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Makes the catch. Touchdown. This game is tight. Now that's a terrific job getting that touchdown there. And what you've done, you've closed the gap. Keep chipping away at that lead. Make the opponent keep playing. See if he gets tight. If he gets tight, you've got a better chance. Extra point is good. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Hilton's in the slot. First and 10. Bradshaw's taking the handoff. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Two tight ends. Play action. The Colts now move the chain. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Play fake here. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The quarterback will hand it off. <laughs> Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. Second and seven, another carry here. The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well and gets in there and makes the tackle for very little gain. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense. Third down. And eight. The Colts get a first down. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. Play number six coming up on this drive. game on first down. Rocks him with that hit and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete. The big hit by the defender. And 
Andrew Luck under center. Second and ten, and the give to Ahmad Bradshaw. Well, these plays do look ugly when they don't work. It's, it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Looking to the right side and throwing. That catch gives them a first down. Touchdown. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. And the extra point is good. Colts are ready to kick it away. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. Well, a lot of good things happened on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. The defense comes out gun, of the nickel. First and ten. Fix looking long. Right down Broadway. Touchdown and drawing close. They're back in the game with that touchdown. It's a one-score game, but they're going to need a lot of help because time is running out. Time is running out, but it helps when you got a great defense. It is enough time to get the football back for your offense. Let's see what happens. The Eagles have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. The defense comes out of the dime. Now first and ten. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Has some space to work with. When you have a defense as fast as this one, they over-pursue. So that's why you want to run a counter run. Take advantage of the fact that they are just charging too fast, too hard, and not thinking on the defensive side. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. Staying on the ground. That was a good call that time by the offensive coordinator. He looks out on the field. Everybody's dropped back looking for pass. So he took what was available, and they rip off a long run that time. First down here after the run. The throw to the left. Catch is made. The tackle was made. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. And here we have second down. Brown's got it on the toss. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Third and ten. In on the stop. Well, it's a good job by the defense getting that tackle inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see if they're good enough to keep the offense out of the end zone.